Good morning my friends, it is me Militant Ginger, it is Thursday the 13th of June 2019, it is about 6.40 in the morning, I've been up since about 4.30, although to be honest, I mean I did this whole diatribe of you need to get up before in the morning, but uh, I mean honestly I get up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, but I'm not really functional till sometimes 6 o'clock, but um, today I was having a a good day. Okay, I'm uh, knocking out a quick video because I've really found going back through last year's videos to be really useful for me. Um, and it's been a, a weird couple of uh, weeks, not necessarily in a bad way. Uh, There's a lot going on. So for me, my big thing at the moment is I'm really on the cusp of like getting on top of everything. Um, you know, my book sales, they're just a hair's breadth under where I want them to be and I know what I need to do to like nudge them over that um, it's just a case of, of doing it um, right now like finances are really tight but they're not tight in the way they were last year this time last year it was balls to the wall not able to pay the mortgage now it's more like okay uh, we don't have spare money to go out and stuff like that um, everything in general is just a lot better than it was last year uh, but I have to admit this last week or so I really struggled I think the last video I did I talked a lot about um, you know feeling depression and feeling over overwhelmed and that was where going back and watching my old YouTube videos kind of helped out there was one that I recorded on my phone while I was out walking the dog uh, that I never actually made live because I like it didn't edit it or put a fancy thumbnail or anything like that and I watched it, it was really interesting because it was filmed in October of last year and I was, that was where I was pretty much in the same situation I am now, where you know the book sales were going okay, and I was working on things, and I was just really, really overwhelmed though. I was just bogged down with having to do other people's editing, having to do other people's um, blogging. Uh, I was, uh, you know, in charge of all the kids and, and stuff like that, like, like I am, and I was really overwhelmed and burnt out, and, uh, you know, I'm feeling kind of that pressure at the moment, less so because you know a lot of the the a lot of the crunch has been taken off. Um, but yeah, I'm I watched that video and it made me think very hard about how I need to be proactive. This is the stage where I need to get on top of all of that before I end up in the situation of, of like losing the momentum. Uh, when I made that video last year, it was funny, a lot of the stuff that I was doing was right. I was churning out books and things, but I wasn't churning out the right types of books. And I've got a handle on that. Uh, my biker book is definitely the way to go. I'm like 14,000 words into my latest one. Um, so, you know, being able to write books that you know are going to perform for you is very, very important. In terms of the short-term money, it's like lots of stuff going on, but it's a case of prioritization. That's the key. That's the key. Prioritization. Um, last year, the thing that really got me is I was prioritizing everything except writing, whereas writing is what actually makes me the money. Um, and so I needed to work very, very hard at prioritizing writing. Earlier this year, I started doing this thing where I get up in the morning and, and writing is always the first thing I do. Um, and that worked very well for me. I kind of lost my way a little bit the last couple of weeks because I finished my last book, published it, and then I literally took eight days when I didn't write a word. And I've been kind of struggling to get back into it. I've been doing okay, been like writing about 4,000 words a day this week, uh, but that's still not exactly where I want to be. And this morning I got up and I had some other work that I had to catch up on, so I haven't written anything yet. So I can see, you know, this is important, but, um, yeah, prioritization, prioritize what is most important. Where I want to be in life, the thing that's gonna get me there is writing, so I have to write. That has to be my 100% priority. Um, in terms of that, though, one thing I found really, really useful, uh, my wife painted one entire wall in the kitchen as a blackboard, and every single day I'll go there and write my to-do list, and that's very helpful. And last night, I was just potting around the kitchen, tidying up, as I like to do it sometimes, you know, just doing housework is, is where I really get some of my best thoughts. Uh, and I started thinking, okay, where do I want to be in life? And, you know, I want to be, I want to literally be making double the amount of money I'm making at the moment, um, more than that. 
And I started like breaking it down. It's like, okay, if I want to make double the amount of money and I take the, the average amount that my books earn, where do I need to be to get there? And it was really interesting. When you start like breaking things down, it becomes a lot more manageable in your head. When you just have like an esoteric figure of how much you want to earn, it's kind of like up in the air and airy fairy. When you start breaking it down, it becomes much more manageable. So I, you know, had the, the yearly income I wanted, broke that down per month. I actually started the month because I think in the month one, and it worked it out to the day. And then I was like, how do I get there in terms of the day? And I broke down how many books I needed to write, assuming that they, they did this very, very, very like conservative estimate of how much they'd earn. And it wasn't that many. I think it was like 16 books. So once I write and publish 16 books, assuming they perform to this conservative level, which I'm very, very confident they will, I would be where I want to be. Um, and this is the thing that I found really interesting. It's almost like the universe was speaking to me. So I said, okay, assuming I'm pushing along at my current pace of publishing a, a book a month, where would I be? And I did the math and it worked out that I would actually be where I want to be by November 2020. I was like, okay. Uh, how can I accelerate that? And I was like, well, maybe I, I could publish a book every two weeks rather than uh, every every month. Uh, then I was breaking that down, and that's great, because that means I would get there by February 2020. And that was where the law of attraction type thing came in, because I'm like, ding, 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 it's going to be my 42nd birthday in February. So wouldn't it be great if my birthday present to myself was to be where I want to be on my birthday of next year? And so that was kind of weird. That was kind of like the universe was speaking to me by telling me that. But here's the thing that really, really got me. So as I said, I have a priority every single day to get up and write, and my goal is to write 5,000 words a day. Um, and I worked out, okay, assuming the average novel I write is 70,000 words, and assuming I want to write one every two weeks, that's 14 days, how many words do I have to write a day to do that? I was thinking it was gonna be some ridiculous number. Maths is not my strong suit, just wanna say. Uh, and I broke it down, and you know what it is? 5,000 words. Uh, and I was just like, what? Hang on, wait. So, to get where I want to be by my birthday of next year, I need to do what I'm doing now. And that's, I think that's the thing that really like was the wow moment for me. It's like, I don't need to change anything, I just need to do what I'm doing now. I have the system in place where I get up in the morning and I write 5,000 words. And if I do that every single day and I meet that goal, I will be where I want to be by February of 2020. And the, that's with really, really conservative numbers. I think the fact is I'll be there a lot sooner. And that's, that was a game changer. Then I was just like, you know what? This is really gonna work. This is really gonna work. But you need to keep on top of things. You need to prioritize. Um, and in some ways you need to I don't know, in some ways you need to prioritize by not doing stupid stuff like getting up at 6 in the morning and standing in the drizzle and uh, making YouTube videos, but I think this YouTube video is actually going to be important and I kind of want to record this because I think this is the stage where I'm like, okay, I'm moving it to the next level, phase two, um, and I can do it. I can really do it. Now the case is actually doing it. So I'm going to wrap this video up. It's been going for eight minutes, blah, blah, blah. I've got coffee. The kids are going to get up. I've got to write another blog post. I've got to get the kids ready for school. It's, it's exhausting, it is a constant freaking grind. But I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know that I'm on the right track, I just need to stick to it. So there we go, cheers for that. Write things down, break them down. I think the breaking it down, that was the most important thing, where I broke down where I wanted to be and how I got there. And then I realized there was, you know, I had the system in place to get there already. There's a line from that TV show, um, House of Cards, where the, the big bad guy, Francis Underwood, is like, how do you devour a whale, Doug? One bite at a time. And that's exactly right. One bite at a time. Break down your goal into like bite-sized chunks and then you realize what you need to do on a daily basis to take a step there. And I think every single day, as long as you go to bed knowing you have taken a step, even a tiny, tiny step towards your goal, you will get there. Right, it's now really starting to rain, so I'm going to go inside, uh, have a fantastic day, I will make another YouTube video soon, ciao!